Okay, good morning folks. Hey, in this quick short video, what I want to cover with you guys is how to take um, your LiDAR data that is in a ellipsoidal height type of scheme like WSG84 and convert that into an orthometric uh, or something that uses a datum uh, or sometimes they call it grid to ground. Uh, but regardless, get it into to a usable data format. Uh, this is typically a problem that we see with things like Rock Robotics or some of the Chinese vendors where they have good software to process and get you a point cloud, but then trying to pull that into something with the right, um, the right units in the header and, and the right elevation data uh, can be a bit tricky. So we have a, a test data set here from one of our friends. Um, and what I'm going to use today to do this is global mapper but I'm not going to use the traditional global mapper I have added to it the geo calculator and so for you guys that aren't familiar global mapper is like the geospatial Swiss army tool uh, to uh, to get at things um, and so we use it for all sorts of little things inside of our workflows um, and traditionally it will come with a horizontal projection tool which is great However, it doesn't come with a vertical correction tool. So we have to embed the, uh, the geo calculator into that. So let's go ahead and open this up really quick so I can show you what that looks like. And wait for it, wait for it. It's coming, see it blinking, boom. Okay, there it is. Okay, now that I've got that into play, I'm gonna go grab my test set and I'm gonna pull it in. Now, for you guys that aren't familiar with this, what we're looking at here is some of the heading characteristics that are in the LAS cloud. So if you're familiar with WSG, or no, excuse me, if you're familiar with ARSPS format standards, um, that's really what we're looking at here is what classification markers do we have pulled through, um, and you know, what kind of returns, that kind of thing. Um, and so Global Mapper, when you pull it in, will allow you to look at this and kind of declare if, if it's not already in there. So there's lots of lighter systems that do not put the proper um, information in their lighter header. And that's important to pull your data in and out seamlessly of different applications. Okay, I'm gonna hit this and it's not gonna like my classifications and that's okay. Uh, I'll stop and pause for a second so you can read that. Um, but yeah, it's just another warning and it's not going to affect what we're going to do here today. So let's go ahead and just move in here. So I've got my data set that we can look at and you can definitely tell this is Livox data because of the nice Rosetta curly cues that we have here for, for that. And let me blow this up. Now, in this setup here we have, right now we have the geo calculator uh, projection mode enabled. Uh, we also have auto selected the geo selection transform. So you only get these options if you have geo calculator on. Now, if I click this launch geo calculator, it's going to open up the full geo calculator tool. Uh, let's just say, guys, you don't want that. It is confusing. It's, it's, I'm still figuring it out. So, and what it is, is there's just so many options. And if you're a geodesist, this makes perfect sense. If you're not like some of us, well, then, you know, that gets a little more struggling. Now, let's go ahead and click on our, um, our data set. And if you had multiple data sets, you could do that. And then come up to this configure tool. When we come up to the configure tool, you see we have lots of different options. Now, we're gonna come down here to the projection piece of that, like so. And normally in Global Mapper, you would see just this horizontal, um, coordinate system tool. This, this vertical would not be here, uh, but because we've activated it, we have the best of both. And you can see right now, you know, we exported that they have Texas South Central. This is where it's done. It was on 83 datum. It's in survey feet. Fantastic. That's great. That's what they expect. But we've got a problem. We're in ellipsoidal height and we're in meters. We can't use that. So I'm going to go through this tool really quickly. I'm going to show you how to correct or do a transformation in horizontal if you need to. And I'm also going to show you how to set a vertical so that you can get into some U.S. survey standards or orthometric heights. All right. So with that, with nothing to do, let's get in here. So we can come in here and kind of play inside of these options here where I can pick geodetic systems. If you guys are familiar, I'm not going to go into that for this short video and are projected. 
and I can come in and start to, to dive into you know what I would normally see here and let's see I'll just take a look at Alaska really quick so we've got a lot of different things we got NAD Alaska is a funny place with theirs you know here it's in meters I don't like that um, so you have some of these now what I find is sometimes when you dive into this you get a bunch of weird stuff here so that A3 isn't going to work meters isn't going to work just kind of odd so what I'm going to do is come back up and I'm going to hit all and I have them all now this list is all in alphabetical and what I'm looking for is the NAD 83 stuff so I'm going to come all the way down let's go let's go let's go let's go okay got that there's our NAD 27s that's here's our NAD 3s okay we're still in alphabetical order here's my California zones that's what I'm familiar with a lot of the time let's find Texas if we can there's our UTMs here's Texas so Texas South Central US survey feet okay here it is so we can go ahead and select that if that's what we choose to do now I'm going to cancel so I don't mess up this data set on this but now you know how to find that and we have that reporting true now we do the same thing with the vertical so I'm going to click on that I'm going to drop down into the North American region US data systems and you can see here I think they get this out of B data which is kind of nice uh, that I can start to pick and so most of you guys are going to want this Navi88 uh, vertical datum standard. Vertical datum standard. Okay. Now, really quick, don't pick depth. That's for bathymetric. Um, you're going to want to pick these heights. Okay. And you want to be on the 88 standard, unless you're doing something more domestic or whatever. You can also with these references these are geoids. You can use these. But remember, guys, you're going to be in meters on that. So let's not do that. All right. Um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and click on, double check this really quick. Yep, I got that. And I hit this. And then I'm going to hit apply. And this will transform my tool or my data set to what I want to have here. Um, so I hope this helps you guys, um, you know, as this runs in the background. But once you have this done, you'd go ahead and come up come in here and export that. Oh, there it is. Okay, there's my export. Apologies. Um, and you would go ahead and pick your format here um, to go ahead and set that data correctly if you're going to take this into uh, another application. So that'd be, I think, right here. Okay, and you can continue from that. So again, I hope this helps you out a lot, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, take care.